Hi guys and welcome back to a tutorial series. In the last tutorial, let's give me one second. In the last tutorial, I showed you guys how to make an advanced health script. Well, it's, it was basic for then. It's going to be advanced later on. Well, today I'm going to show you how to make an upgrade system. An upgrade system that I'll be looking forward to teach you guys. It's like um, Crisis 2, which I showed you in the previous tutorial and I'm really looking forward to teach you that so let's start working on that today okay so the first thing you want to do is you want to look for your script uh, folder so scripts FPS scripts there it is right click and create new JavaScript and I'm going to call this system upgrade and save that just give me, give me one second just get, get some things out of here that don't belong in the folder I don't know why they're in the first place Don't do it separately. Put that into there. Get out of here. Perfect. Um, oh yeah. Also, I was gonna say in the last tutorial, I showed you how to change the text size and all that. If you guys want to enter your own text, I can just do a separate tutorial after this and show you how to do that as well. Because at the moment, the fonts in here are really crap. So I'll show you guys to do that next, okay? Anyways, let's continue with the tutorial. <coughs> Where's my script gone? System update. Upgrade, sorry. I'll bring that in Unity. There we are. Let's give it a pace. Make some spaces in here. I'm just gonna make the function for the GUI already. Uh, if you're noticing how my font for the code is so big, I just zoomed it in. It's a bit easier for you guys to see because normally it's like this, and some people see uh, it's like they can't see what I'm typing. So if I leave it like this, it's a lot better. Okay, the first thing you want to do is we want to find um, our skins. Okay, so. I have around, let me just double check how many skins I have. Oh, I turned it off. Give me one minute. One, two, three, four. Okay. Four skins. So I know that. So far. Now uh, I'll just call this Skin One for now. Probably will think of names. Um hmm. Actually, you know what? Don't do that because I know naming things wrong will get problems. So I'm just gonna call this scope style. Oops. Okay, scope style. It's gonna be a type GUI skin. Sorry, style. Copy that three more times. And paste in there. And change the name. So scope. I know how scope there, hundred percent definitely sure for that one. Attack. 
speed and sight. So that's laser sight, okay? Now in the GUI, let's start creating those. So GUI, again, it's not going to be, no, sorry, this time it's going to be button, not G, a label. So button, open bracket, close bracket, just close that off for now. It's going to put a new rect, open bracket, close bracket, comma in there, double speech mark in the end, comma, and the GUI skin. And for this one, it's going to be the laser sight, so sight. Actually, bear with me one second. Just change the first letter all to lowercase. So S, S, A. Save that. Now copy this three times. Paste underneath this. There we are. And um, change the names. So you can have that one scope if you want. And this one as attack that one as speed save this now we're going to make some new variables for the positioning okay as you did in the previous one so floor scope rect one it's going to be a type float Okay, copy that, paste that three more times, call that two, three, and four, copy this, paste that down there, and we're going to call this speed, Let's copy that there, paste that in there. Just name that to two, three, and four. Copy that again. Paste that in there. And paste that down there as well. Now that one's going to be sight. It doesn't matter what order it is in. It's okay. You can put it any order you want. Just replace speed with sight in this one. And the last one is attack. Copy that, place attack underneath this one, this one, and this one. Okay, now go back to the GUI. Let's start adding those in there. So screen dot width divided by, first one I'm gonna use site, so. Site rect one comma screen dot height this time divided by site rect two comma copy these two from here paste them at the end. So you have screen dot with site one, then site two, then change it to site three, and then four. Okay. Now the next one, I'm going to put my. Um, Scope because I got the scope then over here, and the first one was sight. So screen dot width divided by scope rect one, comma screen dot height. Divided by 
scope site to screen dot width divided by scope rect three comma screen dot height divided by scope rect four. There you go, that's fine. <coughs> Same with this one. That's going to be attack style. Save that. And the last one is speed style. So screen dot width divided by speed rect one screen dot width divided by speed rect screen dot width divided by speed <coughs> correct three screen dot width divided by speed rect four Finally, I was tired of saying that. So you should have everything set up now. Go back into Unity and let's start applying the textures where they needed. And I made a mistake somewhere. <laughs> scope site. It's supposed to be scope rect. Sorry. <laughs> 